Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Ray Perry. I'm the stagecraft instructor at Irvington High School. Um, this is my very first year teaching at Irvington and it's my very first time teaching in an academic setting. So I'm so excited to be here and to meet you all. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this class is a lab, uh, which means that usually it's very hands-on. Uh, but this year, of course, we're completely virtual this entire first semester. Um, but I want you guys to know that this class is still considered a lab, even though I'm doing a lot more talking than I usually am. This class is seventh period. Uh, it's after school, it's supposed to be really fun. Um, and you also will earn concurrent enrollment credit um, with Ohlone College for taking this class, which is awesome. So a little bit about me. Um, again, my name is Kayla Ray Perry. Um, you and your students can feel free to call me Kayla or Mrs. Ray Perry, whatever is most comfortable for you. Um, I was born and raised in San Jose. Um, so I love it here. And I went to Central Washington University um, where I earned a BFA in 2014 in uh, theater design and production. Uh, since then, I've been working as a freelance scenic artist and designer, mostly, um, and I operate under this business name, Scenic Art by Kayla. I also work uh, part-time at the Palo Alto Children's Theater as their scenic artist and work on helping them with a lot of designs. There, I've also gotten involved with the Teen Arts Council uh, in Palo Alto. And I also teach, I have been for about three years now in an after school program at Brava Theater Center in San Francisco. So you can find me all over the Bay. Alrighty, this is how you can contact me if you ever need to. Um, my email is crayperry without a hyphen at aloni.edu or because we're virtual, feel free to call me. I don't mind it. Uh, my number is listed right there, 408-717-0218. Um, the best way for students to contact me if they have any questions, and um, we can talk face-to-face, -face, is right before class every day for 20 minutes from 3 o'clock until 3.20 p.m. on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So let's talk a little bit about how this really unique class is going to be structured this year. If you'd like some more information on the program at Irvington, you can view the website right here. I want you guys to really know that this is still a lab class, even though it's virtual. This is how it's going to show up on all transcripts, especially because this is a current concurrent enrollment class. Um, it'll be showing up this way on all college credit as well. I will be doing as much hands-on work as I possibly can um, to give you guys that opportunity. Here we'll be producing a virtual show called the Laramie Project. How we're going to get involved in that as a stagecraft class is a little bit up in the air still, but we will be doing everything that we can to provide any audio, any lighting, any uh, visual aid for that production that we can. To complete this class, you need to complete 108 hours, um, and that is a requirement in order to pass the class and receive the credit. So because of that, my grading policy is almost 100% on counting hours. There are two different types of ways that I'll be grading, and that is as participation and in assessments. So participation is going to be 70% of the grade. That's because this is a lab class. And so the whole point is showing up and doing some work. Um, so there's two ways to earn participation points in this lab. You can show up to the class meetings, which is also known as synchronous, meaning in person with the instructor. Students will be given hourly credit for doing this um, in real time. If the Zoom class uh, lasts for an hour and a half, they will receive an hour and a half of lab credit. The other way is in activities and optional activities, also known as an asynchronous learning style, where they are doing something that may have been done in class, in 
before, um, but it's now at home. So you can think of this like homework, but I don't want to use that term because this is a lab class which doesn't traditionally have homework. So instead I use the term activities and optional activities, meaning that this could be things from reading assignments to drawing activities, even to group discussions, etc. But it's done without being face to face with the instructor. Um, because this is a lab class, I'm giving hourly credit for doing these things. So I give, before I assign the assignment, I give a hourly time of how long I think it will take to complete that assignment. And if they turn it in, they just get a yes, no for doing the assignment. Um, I am not grading it on a scale. Um, they just receive hours. So for example, if a reading assignment is going to take about an hour, then they'll get one lab hour for completing that reading assignment. So the other part of my class is 30% in assessment, and this is where the skill is going to come into play. Um, there's three types of assessments. There is exams, there will be one midterm project, and one final project. These are 10% of the grade each, and they are graded on a scale, as in there's a rubric, and how well you do does matter towards your grade. On top of this, if the exam takes 30 minutes to complete, they will earn 30 minutes of lab time for that. All of this will add up to 108 hours at the end of the semester, thus completing the lab. We're gonna talk a little bit about late submissions. For synchronous participation, meaning a Zoom meeting face-to-face -face with me, that is required and cannot be made up. Asynchronous participation, is also required but can be made up at any time. So at any point in time, they can do that reading assignment and take the quiz, meaning they completed it, um, and they'll get those hours for doing so. I also include optional activities. Optional activities are a way to make up those lab hours if you miss a synchronous class. However, you cannot get that information if you're not there in class. So I do encourage you to get to know all of the classmates so that you can share notes, um, but you will need to do those optional assignments to make up those lab hours so that you can still pass the class. These are offered every single day, so there's plenty of opportunity to do that at any time throughout the semester. If you find at the end of the semester you are more behind than you thought, you can go back and complete any of those optional activities that were offered throughout the whole semester. So assessments are the only elements of class that are graded on a scale. So they should be turned in on time because turning them in one day late brings it down a letter grade. So in this class, we're using a couple of different uh, electronic platforms. One of them is Zoom, uh, which I will show everybody where they can find our Zoom links. Uh, we're also using Google Hangout as a group chat which is essentially a virtual study room uh, so that everybody can uh, share notes, um, ask clarifying questions about due dates, and get to know each other for when we have group projects. Big blue button, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, is how I am doing my office hours uh, through Canvas. So it's all attached, all of these things are attached through Canvas. Canvas is our our platform where all of my course content is. And I'm going to give you a little virtual tour right now. So when your student comes onto Canvas, this is what they're going to see. Uh, recent announcements at the top, um, which right now I've just posted a recent announcement about our Google Hangout and how they can get to that information. Um, and then a little welcome page getting started and some more information on me. Now, on the side, keep in mind we're looking at a My Instructor version of Canvas, and your student's version will look a little bit different. But we have a home page, syllabus, Confer Zoom, which is the Ohlone College version of Zoom, modules, which is where all the course content is posted, conferences is where you go to look for my office hours, and the link to where I will virtually be is right here. Your students will also be able to find their grades right here, although I want you to know that I don't have any way on Canvas of showing a running total of lab hours, at least as of yet that I've found out how to do, but they will be able to find their assessments here. I'm going to show you a little look at my syllabus first. 
So this is a digital syllabus, so not everything is on one page. Down here is where you'll find detailed information on all these different topics. Um, I want to point out to you that there is tech support, um, student support resources right here. If they're having trouble with Canvas or um, have any questions, this is where they should go. And Ohlone College will be able to provide all of that for you. Conferences, these are my office hours. So when they click right there, this button, once, I, once it's been activated and there's an active conference going on, will turn into a green join button. And that's where they can click and come ask me any questions right before class, I'll be here. Yeah, so that's all for that on campus. So in order to be successful in this class, there are some ways that you can encourage your students. Showing up is the most important thing. Any PowerPoint presentation, any videos, interviews that I show during a uh, synchronous Zoom meeting class will not be posted anywhere on Canvas. So if they miss that time, not only do they have to make up lab hours, but they have to find their own way to get that information. Um, it'll also be really important for them to keep at least mental track of their hours. Um, I have all of that information at any point in time. They can feel free to ask me um, how they're doing on their hours, if they need anything to make up. Again, all of my optional activities have no deadlines. They can complete those activities at any point in time. I also encourage them to get to know their classmates. This is a seventh period class. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be something for them to do after school um, and to make some friends. Also, getting to know your classmates will make it much easier for them to get the notes if they miss anything. This is a college level class. They'll be receiving credit through Ohlone College that'll stick on their transcripts no matter how they do. I want them to take this work seriously. But also, let's have fun. This is a theater class um, and I really want them to take this time to be artistic and be creative um, and make mistakes and learn from them. Thank you so much for coming to Back to School Night um, and I really hope that someday soon we can meet each other in person. I'm so excited for this year. So far it's been really fun. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.